the Golden State Warriors could be making a massive trade for Kevin Durant. Now, as you all know, Stephen A. Smith, NBA analyst, said on a recent show that there has been rumor around the league that the Golden State Warriors are going to try to pursue Kevin Durant during this offseason, and Kevin Durant may also be interested in returning to the Golden State Warriors. In today's video, we're going to be going through five reasons why KD joining the Golden State Warriors is perfect for this Warriors team, and how it can help them win another NBA championship. So make sure to like this video, and guys, 92% of you are still not subscribed to the channel so it'd mean the world if you can subscribe to the channel hitting that red button down below the first is that Kevin Durant would add an elite amount of scoring. Now, as you all know, Kevin Durant is a scoring champ, four-time scoring champ at that, 14-time All-Star, but on top of that, we know him as one of the greatest scorers out there. What makes him so special is not his ability to really score in all three levels, whether it's three-point mid-range or inside, but it's definitely due to the fact that he is 6'11", moves like a guard, 240 pounds. And even at 35 years old, he's still giving them buckets. When we look at his season with the Phoenix, Suns he actually averaged 27.1 points which was great to see and on top of that when we actually look at that season we actually see that he had a three point percentage of also 41 percent and an effective field goal percentage of 58 percent in total so that was honestly fantastic to see and when it comes to also Kevin Durant as a scorer we all know how elite he can be from all three levels but I think the efficiency that he shoots at is honestly what makes him special as well now he just missed out on the 50 40 90 club but he did have a free throw percentage of 86%, so still a pretty good percentage at that. When it comes to his scoring, it's definitely needed for a team like the Golden State Warriors. We all know Golden State Warriors. Yes, they do have Stephen Curry, the greatest three-point shooter alive. However, they definitely need that extra little bit of scoring on all facets, and I think someone of KD's caliber can definitely provide that. When we look at the Golden State Warriors, we all know they definitely struggled from scoring, whether it was from the three ball or just scoring in general. Yes, Stephen Curry did actually average 26 points and yes Clay Thompson did average 17 points which is not too bad as well but there were a lot of games where Clay Thompson definitely struggled maybe even other players like Kaminga and Wiggins and all that was left was for Stephen Curry to provide that offense and it is tough for a championship team or if they want to win another championship for them to do something like that and I do believe they need another consistent scorer and KD can definitely be that guy they have worked well in the past and I think when it comes to KD's scoring ability even at 35 years old it is definitely not slowed down one bit. The second is that KD can definitely add to the Golden State Warriors defense. Now, as you all know, KD is a fantastic player on offense, and that's definitely a big part of his game. But what I think is definitely overlooked when it comes to KD is definitely his defensive ability, because he is a great defender at that. Now, he may not have any Defensive Player of the Year awards, but when it comes to him as a player, he's definitely able to play great defense, especially being 6'11". Now, people have also rumored he's 7' foot with shoes on so there's definitely that case but his height and stature definitely helps him out quite a lot he averaged 6.6 rebounds but to even go more specific he averaged 6.1 defensive rebounds for the phoenix suns this current season and on top of that also averaged 0.9 steals and 1.2 blocks some things that don't show up in the stat sheet is definitely other things such as contest and his also ability to stay in front of their man but i do believe if you do watch a couple of phoenix suns games you definitely see that kd is still a great defender his ability to be six foot eleven and being able to move like a guard definitely helps, and he's able to be a pretty good shot blocker and a good shot contester around the paint as well. So KD's height will definitely add to the Golden State Warriors. We've all known Golden State Warriors have run small ball for so long, having players such as Draymond Green out there, who's only six foot six as he is listed, and you know running that small ball lineup, it's definitely hurt them, especially when it comes to making it into the playoffs, which they failed to do this current season. Season. And I definitely think the extra height could be needed. And on top of that, the defense that does come with extra height could definitely be a huge plus as well. There's a lot of big teams out there, especially in the Western Conference. You know, you got teams like the Minnesota Timberwolves, the two seven footers in Gobert and also Carl Anthony Towns. Or even if you look at the Nuggets, Aaron Gordon and also Jokic, very, very big players. So if the Warriors do want a proper shot next season to win a chip, they definitely need more size. And on top of that, more defense on top of it, which I think 
think KD can definitely provide. The third is that KD has history playing with the Golden State Warriors. Now, as you all know, when it comes to KD with the Golden State Warriors, we all know how dominant that team can be. They won back-to-back -back championships and they could have potentially won a third if there wasn't so many injuries on Golden State Warriors part. But they didn't only just win games throughout the three seasons together, but they absolutely demolished the NBA. They were winning games by 20, 30, sometimes even 40 points. And it's definitely safe to say that that was probably one of the greatest teams to ever play NBA basketball. And we could see a reunion of all of them back together. Now, when it comes to Steph Curry, he's still playing at a very high level. So is Kevin Durant. Yes, Clay have may fallen a bit and also Draymond, but I do believe if given the opportunity to play with KD again, they can definitely relive and recreate what they had during those Golden State Warriors era. When it comes to Golden State Warriors, we all know how great they can have been due to the fact that they did win two NBA championships and why not run it again one more time. The great thing about this is that they all definitely have an understanding that they all are near the end of their career and because of that I think they're all willing to go all in you know, and try to win another NBA championship. They would also have the same head coach with Steve Kerr leading the pack and the fact that Steve Kerr has the opportunity to also coach Kevin Durant once again I think they will be able to work things out and play the way they did play for the time that they did win two championships together. KD also became two finals MVP during his time with the Golden State Warriors and it's also the only two championships he's actually won and was actually in a Warriors uniform so it definitely all makes sense and when it comes to if they will be able to play together they've played together in the past and because of that I definitely see them being able to do it once again even at their older age as they still have the firepower with Stephen Curry still being the greatest shooter in the NBA and KD still being an absolute elite scorer a three level scorer at that at an age of 35 years old the fourth is that the Golden State Warriors desperately need another star now as you all know when it comes to Steph Curry yes he is a fantastic player and yes he is the greatest three-point shooter alive but there is a lot of attention on Golden State Warriors especially Steph when they actually face off against tougher teams you definitely see a lot of the defensive strategies towards Golden State Warriors is stopping Steph Curry as soon as possible and trying to not to get him going which actually leaves a lot of the other players in a bit of a bad position I wouldn't say in no disrespectful way that the Golden State Warriors have another elite score in that team yes Jonathan Kaminga is on the come up Clay definitely has his games and so does Wiggins but I definitely don't think that they provide or give that much firepower that other teams would actually send double teams their way or even have defensive strategies towards them and this is why i think getting kd could honestly be a huge asset having another superstar definitely makes it a lot harder for teams to defend golden state warriors as they don't need to just stop steph curry but they also need to find a way to stop kevin durant and if they send double team steph's way they could find a way to get kd open and even vice versa and this is the reason why i think having two stars especially two scoring stars in the same team work so well and why KD and Steph Curry work so well as well. If we also look at them playing together we all know how great they can be but the fact that defensive strategies can definitely not do anything to stop that as KD being 6 foot 11 it's really hard to stop him mano e mano. I think it would honestly be a great offensive matchup for Warriors to have him in that roster and to be able to provide a lot more offense for this team. The fifth is that the Golden State Warriors and Kevin Durant both know this is their last shot at a title. Now, as you all know, unfortunately, Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry are both getting older and older by the day. And if they do want a proper shot at winning another NBA championship, they can't do it alone anymore. KD, yes, he is a fantastic player, 35 years old, 6'11", 240 pounds, and is still averaging 27.1 points per game. But when you look at his team, like the Phoenix Suns, they definitely don't have enough pieces to be able to take down some of the teams in the Western Conference. They don't have enough firepower. Devin Booker isn't playing the way that people thought he would be become and also on top of that Bradley Beal hasn't been able to find his way as well and it does seem that if Kevin Durant wants to win a ring it's definitely not going to be with the Phoenix Suns when we look at Golden State Warriors on the other end we definitely see they have the right pieces they have Steph they got Clay, Draymond great pieces coming up as well with Jonathan Kaminga and also others like Moses Moody and Brandon Podziemski but on top of that they definitely need that one extra player for that extra firepower that can push them over the edge and I think both parties parties definitely know that and they would honestly be a perfect fit for each other. Kevin Durant can join a championship team which is the Golden State Warriors and Golden State Warriors can definitely get another player that adds that extra firepower that they desperately need if they want a shot to win another NBA championship. So it definitely all comes in 
coming full circle. When we look at the times that they did play together, we saw that Steph Curry and Kevin Durant had some of the best pick and roll action we have ever seen. Not only Steph Curry coming off the screen is very dangerous, as if he does get open, he will be able to take the three ball. But on top of that, when you have Kevin Durant on the roll, he can pick and roll and also pick and pop since the fact that he is a three level scorer. And that's what made that pick and roll definitely so dangerous and why other teams could pretty much not stop it. And I think they have the capability to do it once again. Steph is still shooting at a very high rate, as we all know, as we did see that Steph Curry this season did average 26 points. But on top of that, his three point percentage was at 41% while also tweaking 12 three point attempts per game. So he can definitely give you a quick 30 piece if he wanted to. And so can Kevin Durant. And this pick and roll action between the two could honestly be another matchup nightmare for any other team in the NBA. Now you add Jonathan Kaminga to that mix, Clay Thompson, Wiggins, Podziemski, and even if Chris Paul is still in this team as well. When we look at Draymond Green as well, he's definitely provided a lot, but in order for KD to actually join this team, the Golden State Warriors, they would have to pull off a pretty big trade that could see some pretty big players go from the Warriors roster as well. 